Hello, beautiful one. Hello, hello. So I just wanted to ask you a question. Do you sense, believe, feel, imagine, consider the love that surrounds you in actual form of beings of light? You have beings of light, guides, They are seen as angels by many. Some call them guides. Some will say they are their ancestors. Some will call them their higher selves. Some will call them the Holy Spirit or Jesus or God. And some will say it is just an inner knowing, a space of its the one individual's own consciousness. No matter what you call this space, this understanding, these beings, they're there. They're there. And they don't get hung up on what we call them. They don't get angry if we call them something they don't consider themselves to be because they really are so limitless and so vast that they don't even label themselves as we label them. But they are there. They are there with each and every one of us. And they are incremental vibrational spaces of consciousness that are in a level that is above the level we function at, but below, if you will, what we would call source or God. So there are these spaces of vibration. Some people call these dimensions or alternate realities. But these are variation points of consciousness. And so consciousness is in form in human, and it's in form in other spaces of living beings in physical sense, but it's also in the form of these light beings, of these angels, of these ancestors, of the Holy Spirit, of God, of source, of the higher self. That's a space of consciousness in alignment with and connected into these various spaces of the one. So why do I want to tell you this? Why do I want to ask you that question? Because it's such a powerful space to live from. Don't lose it. And if you haven't had it yet, because it's not a space you've ever given any consideration to, allow yourself to give consideration to it and just lean in and trust the space, trust you, and see how that feels. See how the energy of your external experiences shift because of the way in which you are allowing love around you. You are allowing and leaning into with trust and faith and hope and gratitude and joy that you are surrounded by light. And it is not as if you come and go from this space of light that when you do something bad, the light is gone. When you do something good, the light is bigger. You are always loved and they are always with you, guiding you and available to you in any given moment, but you are sovereign. You are sovereign, meaning this is your life to live your way. They are to assist you and nothing is ever to be done in a manner in which it is done to you. Therefore, they cannot act without being asked. They cannot enter without being welcomed. But once they understand that your choice has been made, 
and your choice is to see the love around you. Your choice is to connect and feel and sense the light all around you. That your choice is to anchor the understanding and the knowing and the truth that that love and that light that is all around you is coming from within you. It's coming from within you, your heart portal. There's a space in your being, your heart energy is. And you, your consciousness, your higher selves, your spaces of deep connection to source, to God, flood in through that beautiful space of you and then they emanate out in your field, your auric field. And then that is your frequency. And those beings of light, the beings of love, the guides, the angels, the star families, the ancestors, the past loved ones, the higher selves, God, source, Holy Spirit, are all right here at the same time as being right here. There's no separation except in the illusion of the mind perceiving the outer as separate from the inner. And that just allows you to play this game of life and expansion and I know some may be in a space where they don't feel like it's a game and they don't feel like they're playing. But owning these understandings shift all of those spaces and lift you out of feeling as if you're underneath the space. These are the instructions to the game. You know, I can remember being a kid and we loved board games and we would get these games and all I wanted to do was open them up because they were so colorful and they had the big board and all the little pieces. And all I wanted to do was open up this box and get all those little pieces out and move them all around the board and just have fun. And I can remember a family member being like, we have to read the directions. And I was like, why? It says start here, it says end here, and this is how you win. Let's just play. We have to read the directions. <laughs> and to play the game in way that the game was laid out and to get full advantage of every space of the game. Reading the directions, reading the instructions really did assist. We, we, were, we got to do things we didn't even know the game did, you know? And yet at the same time, I just want to play. That was, a, that was a silly fun space as well. So maybe what we could do is look for balance, right? I just want to play, but I want to understand the game I'm playing. And once I understand the game I'm playing, once I see myself as consciousness and I understand that I'm in a human form and I understand that I'm surrounded by light and love and powerful teams of light and love who are just waiting to assist and that in the instructions they cannot overstep. I have to welcome. I have to trust. I have to lean in. I have to allow. And we balance that with, I get to play. I get to play. There we have a winner. Yes, there we have success, abundance. I've been playing for about mm, two years now. I dropped trying to force spaces. I dropped, the biggest thing I dropped was fear of not aligning with societal structure. So the way everybody said I should look or act or speak or be or do, what I should do for a living, where I should go on vacation, how I should raise my children, you know, all of these spaces of societal structure, I just dropped them. 
And I started saying, what do I want from my heart? What makes me happy? And I started to play my game of life, my way, based on the understandings of the instructions of universal law and how energy works and moves and is. And I love the game I'm playing. I love all of the colorful pieces that I get to move around my gorgeous, magnificent game board. And I love the limitless vastness of my game. And I love that I have an incredible, beautiful team of light, of love all around me. Actual beings, they are actually here. They are just like us, but they don't have a human format. And I've noticed them changing in the videos I do where you guys see the, the beings around me. That's them, that's your teams of light. I am also a portal, so I do bring in beings from other spaces that are here to assist humanity. But those beings of light, everyone has beings of light around them to assist. And I've noticed them changing some as I'm changing and as I'm ever expanding into even higher vibrational spaces of my living, I've noticed them, a lot larger ones coming in, moving um, slower, but then also smaller ones really zipping around, a lot of activity. And the really cool thing is, is they're coming in in complete daylight. And I have had a several times now where they have shown up on film in complete daylight so that was quite beautiful and I welcome them and I ask that of them but I never want to um, disrespect them so I understand the sacredness and the holiness of them and the divinity of them so I'm deeply honored when they come into a video I'm deeply honored whether it's a darkened like nighttime filming or whether it's a day bright sunny filming I'm so deeply honored when they come in and allow themselves to be on the film. And I had that discussion with them long ago when I first started seeing them in my filming as to whether it was all right to share, you know, because I did not want to disrespect them. And they made it clear that they are here. They are light and they are here and that humanity needed to know the light is here, the light is here, the light is here. That came in clearly in 2019. Isn't that funny? And like a fascinating funny, not a ha-ha funny. But they did sell, tell me that in 2019 and then 2020, the world shut down. So how fascinating, the light came in. I think knowing that we were about to go through that space and we would need that light even more. And that a lot of people would be waking up. A lot of people would be slowing down enough to wake up, yes? So I share all of this with you to ask you to contemplate all that is around you beyond your physical sight because your physical sight is n such a mm, small slither of what is you. We, we think it's all, but it is one of the smallest spaces of us. So allow yourself to imagine and contemplate the beauty of your vastness of all the spaces of you, including this glorious space of this now, your game board with your game pieces. Allow yourself to read those instructions of universal law, which is brother and sisterly love. You are a creator. Everything is energy. As it is within, so it is without. Whatever you see going on is a reflection of you, your vibration, your energy. And whatever you see that you don't like or doesn't feel comfortable or could be traumatizing or difficult, it's you trying to get yourself to see something you have been trying to see for a very long time, many years, many lifetimes even maybe. And then when that energy is able to be transmuted by love and alchemized by love and wisdom is gained, that experience will shift and it will no longer be present to be seen by you in any lifetime of you. But those are the laws of the universe. And when we understand these spaces, we can live 
an incredibly empowered, glorious life. And you can have the game board of your dreams, the color, the pieces, all the colors you love, and the excitement and the joy and the win. You're surrounded by love. You're surrounded by light. I love you.